Welcome back gamers, I'm Mad Mac, part of Old Crew Gaming, and today we return to the Curse of Monkey Island. Please remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and leave us a comment to let us know how we're doing. And with that, let's dive back in. So, previously, we have just gotten a boatload of money from Stan. We're rich, I tell you, we're rich. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. We got the money. Uh, we got the five death cards. We need to go to the windmill. Like I said before, uh, I did play this game once upon a time when I was much younger. Back when there wasn't hint guides option. So I'm just checking it out for a bit of nostalgia. I love how the running gag is the sharks are following you around everywhere. It's like they just know. Uh, well, Mary Poppins this... Uh, this thing? Boon full of sugar and all that. And oh, see? No idea how long it took me to remember how to do that. Now, why did it's I. It's full of there? fermenting sugar water used for making rum. Oh, well. Fix some of that. Crunch. It's full of sugar water now. need one. Uh, you never know when you might need another guy brush. You never know. Yeah, you slowly meander to the path. You slowly, slowly. Meander. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, I, right, I haven't gone up to the strange lights yet. This village is deserted. How curious. I'm black at This has been our multi-tool for this one. That looks like a mask. Right, uh, uh, I'll just walk over here so he won't see me put this on. Not a bad idea. Because he'll never recognize me with this on. Ick. <clears throat> Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis. Accept this sacrifice we make on Right, there's you. a whole joke about how they've become vegetarian. In the form of flesh with high amounts of fiber and, and so has their god, the volcano god. Free of all fat and trans fatty acids. So that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village. And not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera! Okay, boys, toss him in. You've been a wonderful audience, thank you, and good night. Right, and uh, what I want to do next? Cheese. And. And cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! 
Well, I do what I can. Hey, look at that volcano run. Hey, so now the barbecue works. Excellent. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Time to go, time to go, time to go, before they realize it was me. Okay, so that means I can go to the hotel. And we load up the nacho cheese, because whose cheese is it? It's nacho cheese. Uh, into this one. And as we all know, stuff is just as good as tar. Drag this down to Haggis now. Yep. Here, Haggis, this stuff should work to patch up the ship. I not indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, mm. can I have your lotion now? I like. Go ahead and take it. Take the lotion. Yay! Okay, now we can do that, and we can get the ring off his aim. Ring. Let's see if this slippery, greasy lotion does the trick. That should do it. The cursed ring exploded. Oh, boo. Yeah. Right, we can't use it for anything else. All right, so sugar water on the stump. Flex some furry friends. It's full of yummy, delicious sugar water. Mm, bet that water sure tastes good. Go and a little bit of slave labor. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. All right, uh, I'll be back, honey. All right, so I gotta get to the lighthouse and make it work. Should have all the parts. This. Perfect. Ta-da! And in theory, that means go down to the beach. Hey, there you are. Skull Island, trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. Really? <laughs> I like mist. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty, but egad, is it dull. All right. Uh, I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will risk these rough waters no more. For too long have I rocked in that watery cradle of death. Freaky imagery. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not going out there again until I'm sure I can make it there safely. I need a compass. How will being able to draw perfect circles get you out to Skull Island? Not hmm. that kind of compass. But a directional I'm... kind. If you find me one, I'll take you to Skull Island. Uh, okay, so... I think I have everything I need for a compass already. Magnet with the pin. Cool, a magnetic pin. The mind boggles at the possibilities. Pin with the okay. cork. I've all done this as a kid. Pie pan. The water. This pie pan won't do any good there. This pie pan won't do any good there. Oh, ah. Uh, 
here we are. This measuring cup. It's full of seawater. And then this is I go third. Hey, neat, it points north. Science is fun when you know the secret. And there we give you the compass. Here, take this compass. This is a compass. Will it work? Of course. See how it points north? Wow, that's incredible. How'd you do that? Eh, it was nothing. Here, give you the uh, magnet while you're at it, because... Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Really? Okay, well... I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. All right, let's go. Bravest of men must dread the horror of this place. Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face of Skull Island. Dun, dun, dun. That's a duck. What are you talking about? Don't you see the skull? This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It's it a great optical island. illusion. Well, you see, you, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Ooh, it's just so scary. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. Well, anyway... Tell me in the comments which one you base. saw first. Did That's you see the bunny or did you see the duck? It's run by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Cruff. But how do I get up there? You'll have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will be someone there who will help you. But I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless as he is bald. Good <laughs> luck. Thanks. Little bits of Star Wars in there. Uh, hi there. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. The cave is halfway down this a... sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumb waiter. I'll, I'll lower you down. Lighthouse, it looks pretty mansion. rickety. Are you sure it's safe? All that no. can be seen from here. Never used it before, but uh, I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Braunbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's LaFoot. <laughs> Which, of course, he's missing one of. Uh, Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You you must weigh no more than, say, 20 pounds, right? Actually, more like 120. Oh, well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. you can. That's you a, don't look that heavy at all. That's hmm. a single purchase Is pulley. That's not tied securely? Here we go. That, that wouldn't support very much weight. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Oops. Okay, that's too much slack. Bye. Bye. Oh, uh, Mary Poppins. We talked about this. No, no, no. Oh, oh. We talked about this earlier. We already pulled the Mary Poppins once already. Oh, apologize. This chair is. Oh. Super comfortable, but uh, a wee bit squeaky. Just a wee bit. One of the many things I'd love to get something new of, but uh, that'll have to be in time. Right, to the cliff top, Guybrush, you just take forever. Oh, my God. Double click? Does that mean I. Okay, let's do this again. Yet? Let's try that lowering me down the cliff thing again. All right. I think I'm getting better at this. Please be careful this time. No problem. Okay. Here we go. I got it. I got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You, you got it. Got it. Okay. Use umbrella. 
Ta da! Now, kids, that doesn't actually work. Do not try it. Hi there, neighbor. Got any diamonds? <laughs> Wouldn't you know, but I'm fresh out. Go away. Darn. Let me try that again. Uh. Good afternoon. I'm the new Skull Island Diamond Inspector. I'm going to have to see every diamond you've got. Every last one. Come on, people. Chop, chop. I don't have all day. I do not like this man. Kill him. Darn. Let me try that again. Uh. Oh. I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, Mr. Uh... Good soup. Wonton good soup. Very well, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Sick. Hey, how did you know my... It is my business to know Boo. who enters and leaves, Scott. I am King Andre, and this is my associate... Boo. I want to be known as Wonton. ...or something in particular. The good oh, soup wonton. family diamond. The Chuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. <laughs> Please, sir. But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Everything a pirate or pirate in trading could possibly want is here. For what the are you right implying? Price. I'm a pirate. I've been doing this long enough. I'm definitely a pirate. Uh... You're evading the whole diamond issue. Exactly. The good soup diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something in return. Maybe we could make a deal. As you wish. You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood. But it looks as if our game of cat and mouse must cease. Let's see. Yeah, let's it see. is a perfect diamond. One of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. And so it mm. comes with a very large price. Eh, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Well, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Not enough. My partner is uh. right. We can't give it to you for anything less than an awful lot of money. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards. Uh, poker in particular. How about mm -hmm. a little wager? This is where having five of a kind will be helpful poker, later. You win the diamond. Sounds fair. Yes. Fair. <laughs> I'm sure they're nothing Could but true and honorable general gentlemen. So, Mr. Threepwood, the question is to you. Care to join us in a game of cards? Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. You will have to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. Sure, I can handle that. This mm -hmm. is a lot of money. I better only give them part of it. Yeah, I know. Have you ever played That's poker not before, very much Mr. Threepwood? No. Would you believe this is my very first time? <laughs> then I'll give you a brief explanation. The game is the simplest variety of five-card stud. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Well, how do I know what makes the best hand? If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? Of course. Uh, yeah, no. Of course I trust you. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Let us begin. No whammies. No whammies. Take a moment to look at your cards. Uh. Two of spades, three of hearts, four of clubs, eight of clubs, and uh, king of diamonds. What a terrible hand. We're gonna put this down instead. Fortune telling won't work with that. Five of a kind. Right there, not even you guys can beat five of a kind. You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair. Of murderous smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I am talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, no, I get nice. it. <laughs> Whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen, let's not be too hasty. There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiot! You blew off the lights! <laughs> I got the diamond. Not for long, you little... Who are you calling a fool for? There he goes! Get him! Got what I 
I'm used from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of Time to go, time to go, time to go. There's just one thing I need to do first. Really? What's that? Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Help! Help! Ah! <laughs> oh. Did, we, did, did you really have to throw him off? That just seemed mean. Good luck on the rest of your adventures, Guybrush. That just seems what? exceptionally you mean. You can't mean. I'm afraid so. This work is too dangerous for me. I'm going to find a more stable, secure line of work. I hear there's still an opening for a chef on Scab Island. Well, you'll be sorely missed. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere, beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. See you later, Welshman. Oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? East by northeast. You can't miss it. Oh, thanks a bunch. Ah, whoops. I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass like properties for a short time. <laughs> That's why I wanted to give him the magnet earlier. Okay, we got the diamond. We need to get the setting. Uh, oh, cutscene. Have you found her, you cadaverous canine? Yeah, <laughs> uh, nope. Nope, she's not on Plunder Island, Captain Lechuk. Oh, I love this style of game, where they have the rats. cartoon and you're playing a cartoon for me. And the cutscenes are actual cartoons. So I love it. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean if you have to. But bring me my bride. And more slaw! Curse those villains! They never give you enough slaw with these value meals! I, I'm not a huge fan of slaw. Uh, let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you disagree. Alright, let's see if we can get... Does it make sense that the crypt backs in on the house? Just a touch creepy. Uh, hi. Hello again, handsome. Since you're, uh, not using it, can I have your engagement band? This ring will remain on my finger until I have a wedding band to replace it. I I'll know what to do. I'll check back in with you later. I remember now. This is a call for a catapult. See what I mean when dear like house me. <clears throat> I know just the dandy fellow for her to get attached to. Stairs here and memory serves. You go in here and we got the crowbar from being in the tomb. There we go. Now we got a nice big hole, and now we use the crowbar at the bed and uh, fire at Will. Will won't be happy about this. 
He seemed to like the idea. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. I was just... Charles? Charles de Goulash? Is it really you? Minnie! It's been Goulash. so long. A very oh, distant God, relative of the soup family. It has. You look so different. Really? Why, you look exactly the same. Oh, Ooh. Charles, how you flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. What would our family say if they knew we were alone together on such a romantic night? Minnie, this may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie mm. Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. No. Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, Minnie. Oh. Marry me. Oh, yes, Charles. Yes. A thousand times. Yes. Then kiss me, my love. Nice. Didn't make me walk all the way down here. Alright, so we got the band. That with it's that. A massive diamond engagement ring. And Elaine better be happy with this one. You know, it's not my fault the last one was cursed. Seriously. Find treasure, you just, you know, use it for whatever you need. Whether it's, you know, paying off a house or, you know, paying off a wife. Ooh, ooh, next cutscene. Okay, so the truck is coming for us. Get to a lane. Alright, so we'll put the new ring on her finger. Oh, shouldn't have been standing there. Elaine, are you all right? Guybrush? Webb? Where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and you got a brand new one. Mine. Really nice Just ring. Just fine. Or not. All right, and we are going to pause our adventure here. I want to thank you for spending some time with us here at Old Crew Gaming. Please remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 500 subs, and we can only do that with your help. So, this has been Mad Mech. Be safe out there, gamers. <laughs>